Hi guys, this is R. Jerome Harris from DigitalDrake.com. Listen, if your computer has been infected with this um, Trojan DNS changer that's mentioned in my article, this is uh, a particularly malicious uh, virus that uh, changes your DNS settings in your um, internet uh, section of your control panel on your PC. And if your DNS settings are changed, then you may find that you will not be able to connect to the internet or it may redirect you to a website that you do not want to go to uh, you may even go on to the uh, internet control panel and uh, attempt to uh, change the uh, DNS settings and uh, uh, once you close out the, your box it uh, will simply revert back to the uh, DNS settings let me show you that okay for example here I have a, a network setting let me open it up here by going to properties and if I click on the internet protocol TCP IP and select properties uh, the DNS um, changer Trojan actually inserted this uh, uh, fake DNS IP address into um, my setting now if I were to manually remove that for example and then click OK and then go back into the Internet uh, Protocol Properties uh, dialog box, uh, this IP address will simply reappear. Uh, you can even go into the registry if you're, the, if you're computer literate and if you attempt to remove this particular IP address within your registry, close up your registry, it will only reappear there as well. Okay, so the only way that you're going to be able to remove that, or rather I should say one of the best ways and the quickest ways without getting too technical, is to run the application a malware bytes anti malware. So let me close this out. And so here's the application. You look over to your right, you'll see a link where you can download it. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And once you download it, uh, install it, launch it, then uh, the first thing you want to do is click on the update tab, go ahead and uh, check updates, update the application, then click on the scanner tab here again, then do a uh, make sure the perform quick scan radio button is checked then click scan and scan your PC once the scan is completed then go ahead and do a removal a bit of advice it's always a good idea to run uh, a, an updated uh, version of uh, a well-known antivirus uh, program on your PC uh, aside from malware bytes anti malware which is not an antivirus application is an anti spyware application, so running both uh, is a good idea. The best thing about malware bytes, anti malware, is that it's free. Now, uh, this virus that uh, I've been discussing here, the uh, uh, Trojan DNS changer, uh, pops up quite often. And again, uh, if you find that uh, you can't connect to the internet, I mean, and you know that your internet connection is good but when you type in a uh, URL into your browser whether it's Internet Explorer, Firefox, Netscape and uh, it just doesn't take anywhere uh, do a quick check in your control panel and check your TCP IP settings to see if there is a bogus uh, fake uh, DNS IP address sitting in there if it is then uh, you can rest assured that you have been uh, visited by this uh, malicious uh, uh, Trojan DNS changer and malware bytes will remove it uh, without a problem. Uh, I've scanned the internet and I find that there's lots of uh, technical procedures out there on removing this virus and I find that it is simply unnecessary. Uh, for the most part it simply goes and these procedures go into so much detail as far as going to the registry and booting up to the safe mode doing this and doing that where malware bytes is simply an easier solution and like I said before it is free so I hope this information has helped you it is free as well and uh, again I'm Ahmed R. Jerome Harris from uh, digitaldrake.com and I thank you for viewing this presentation